Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Manny G. You better believe it. So this is a movie right to the YMC, the YouTube movie community. And this is a message, I think it was John Himes, considering the title, I'm very disappointed with what you have done to Universal Soldier. John Himes, isn't that right? John Himes? John Himes tomato sauce, John Himes baked beans, John Himes ketchup, John Himes HP sauce. Yeah, I'm talking to you, John Himes. John's hickanacking. John's hit, John hitchhiker. I'm talking to you. What did you do to Universal Soldier? Wasn't it over 20, 20 years ago that a great film, John claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren was a blockbuster hit in the early 90s named Universal Soldier. The film was about reanimated dead soldiers. Basically, soldiers that fought in the war and they died. And then they get reanimated as dead soldiers. They get reanimated as dead kind of robotic cybernetic soldiers, but they're kind of human. They are vulnerable to wounds, but they heal. Um, they've got super strength. They, got, they use the muscle enhancers to boost up their strength. And by that time, it was John claude Van Damme, Luke, Luke Deverox, and Dolph Lundgren as Sergeant, I think Sergeant Andrew Scott, which was one of my greatest film villains ever. I've ever witnessed. They shoot, they kill each other both in the war and they die and they get reanimated as these soldiers. And then continuing that, it's about John claude Van Damme. It's about him. He, he basically is a soldier doing operating, operating and doing what the, the government has told them. They're being run as the government. It's called the UNSO Project. And basically, he, he finds out his memories start flashing back about his life before the war and what what he is now and then he realizes and then Andrew Scott gains his personality back and they both fight to a few to the death the film was great it was the biggest blockbuster hit ever now there was a continuation Universal Soldier The Returns and this one had Goldberg in it I have to say eh, it was an okay film and it had uh, Michael J. White in it that was a good film but it showed that Jean-Claude Van Damme um, he, he was human again in this one. So basically he stopped being a unisol because at the end of the film, um, he after he gained his memories back, he started becoming human again. And he went to rehab and all this stuff. And now he went into the government. He's working for the government um, with other new, a new breed of universal soldiers, a new breed of unisols. And Goldberg, he fought Goldberg, Michael J. Rant, a new unisol who's causing, who's causing problems and trying to take over the world. That film was great. You know, that film was okay, you know. It wasn't the best Universal Soldier film. Nothing tops the first one. Now let's get to the third one. Universal Soldier Regeneration. This was you, John Himes, right? So I was happy. I was waiting for years. When are they going to make another Universal Soldier film? I was so happy. I was marking my ass off. I was thinking Michael J. White was going to be there. I knew, I knew Dolph Lundgren has to, has to come back. But I wanted every single Universal Soldier to come back. But they had some MMA fighter named Andre the Pitbolowski who played a new generation, the Unisol, which I didn't see the point of him being in that. Didn't see the point of him being in the feud because it made Dolph Lundgren not have enough, not have enough time because that time he was... He was filming The Expendables, but still, um, I, th I guess w that's why they added Andre the Pitbolowski, MMA UFC fighter, I think, to chip in some runtime because Dolph Lundgren was busy. Dolph, Dolph Lundgren only had, what, 30 minutes of um, appearance, and then he dies again. Can you believe that? He dies again. And there was a lot of plot holes in Universal Soldier Regeneration. I mean, it was happy. I was happy. The great thing about it was uh, there was a lot of action in that movie. There was a lot of shooting, sla stabbing, snitting floats, cars exploding, trucks pummeling one another, um, people breaking people's necks, full punches, full fist fights. I like I liked the fight with Andre Pitbolowski and John claude Van Damme in the faculty when they were running and chasing each other with the bat and everything and just running like running and, and tripping each other up, doing flips, kicks, fighting. That was great. But it was there was too much action. I didn't quite get the beginning. How many hell did Luke Deverox go from being a universal being a being surviving in the world war understand being reanimated as a universal soldier becoming a human again and then becoming a uniso again it doesn't make sense and apparently he's gone in rehab and he's recuperating that didn't make sense that was a plot hole right there and what happened to luke deverox's daughter 
John Himes. You missed out a plot hole there. Smart, but you want to get us marks. You want to get us Unisol marks, us movie marks with a lot of plot, with a lot of plot. There's a lot of plot holes. You want to get us complaining, right? You ruined it. And then what you do, leave a lot of plot holes. And to make it up, you open up even more plot holes. Um, what's that other UFC fighter's name? I can't even remember. Burke something. He was in it. He was a soldier. He was just like a normal soldier. Um, fighting the animated Universal Soldiers. And he died. And then all of a sudden, he gets cloned. Which made a continuation for the new film, Day of Reckoning. Because I understand that they clone Universal Soldiers now. Because I understand they cloned, um... Dolph Lundgren was cloned after he got chopped up in the wood chip and everything and all the bits and got got molded and then they cloned another. I understand that. But it left up a it didn't exactly in dialogue say what happened to him. It was just oh, it left fans thinking. It was just like Red Dwarf having to find plot holes, you know. I'm sick and tired of the plot holes. Plot holes, plot holes, plot holes. More plot holes than Lister's socks in Red Dwarf. Too many plot holes, man. <laughs> um So regeneration was great, had a lot of action, I would rate Regeneration a 6 out of 10 because the action was there but the explanation and dialogue wasn't well and the plot was just confusing. I'll rate the first Universal Soldier film a 9 out of 10 regardless, bang bang on point, no a 10 out of 10 and here we go now, Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning. What do you do? Scott What's his name? Scott Adams. Adams. I don't, I don't give a crap. Scott Atkins. I don't know who the hell this guy is. But apparently he's runtime because he, he was in a fight with Jean-Claude Van Damme or whatever in one other movie. I don't know who this guy is. I understand you're making a new plot, John Himes. But what in the hell happened to Jean-Claude Van Damme finishing off the score with Dolph Lundgren? I understand you cloned too many Universal Soldiers and you didn't make a continuation of what happened to Burke. What happened to all the clone Universal Soldiers? It didn't make an explanation about what happened to the NGU, the Universal, um, the, U the next generation Unisol. How all of a sudden he becomes some kind of caretaker and he's just, and he's just there. He's just another clone, right, with a big beard. You forgot he was the NGU in, in Universal Soldier, um, in Universal Soldier re Regeneration, right? The plot hole, just the continuation just gets renewed and rebooted again. Yes, you have Jean-Claude Van Damme, but all of a sudden he's the villain now? That doesn't make any sense. Why would John claude Van Damme look there for to be the villain for no reason? Now it left us fans thinking. Maybe he was a clone of the original Luke Deverox. What happened to the other Luke Deverox? Why is this guy, why is this guy getting beaten the crap out of? This guy got beaten the crap, beaten the crap out of, got batted, got, got his ass whooped by some sharp, sharp objects in the beginning of the film. His family died, but apparently the main character, supposed character, was a clone. It turned out to be at the end. Was a clone of another clone and of another clone. The continuation didn't make sense, and then all of a sudden he fights John claude Van Damme, and, you, and a Unisol survives, a Unisol survives a, a big bazooka shot to the chest. A Unisol survives a chop in a wound, a hand, and regrows it. But you're telling me? That Unisol would survive getting stabbed, won't survive getting stabbed in the chest. That's how Van Damme dies. It doesn't make any sense. John Himes, you've ruined it. Look what you've done to Universal Soldier. You've ruined it, man. You've ruined it. Ugh, I have nothing else to say, man. This is just you. This is just to you, John Himes, anyway. I'm out, people. That was my Universal Soldier rant.